We have the latest next from Russia's war on Ukraine. Kyiv has come under a new missile attack. Abby Kugodasin is with us from London on this story. Good morning, Abby. What do we know? Good morning, Jen. This is the ninth time the Ukrainian capital has faced such a barrage this month alone. And still, the Kyiv regional administration says that it's unprecedented. They say that Moscow first deployed strategic bombers with cruise missiles and then later sent in recon drones to survey the capital. Ukraine says it shot down all the Russian missiles that were fired at Kyiv, but that falling debris did cause damage in two districts. They say no injuries were reported in the capital, but that is not the case in other parts of the country. We understand that in the port city of Odessa, one person has been killed and two people wounded. And in his overnight address, President Zelensky talked about the fact that a child, a five-year-old boy, was killed in Kherson. Now, when we look at the national picture of what happened overnight, the Ukrainian Air Force says it shot down 29 of 30 missiles that were fired between 9 p.m. last night and 5.30 a.m. this morning. And some analysts believe that Moscow not only targeting critical civilian infrastructure, but looking to test Ukraine's air defense systems, to deplete Ukraine's air defense systems in hopes of potentially delaying the country's planned counteroffensive this spring. And of course, we saw a similar barrage earlier this week, overnight into Tuesday. And following Following those attacks, the Russian Defense Ministry claimed it had destroyed a U.S.-built Patriot air defense system. U.S. officials now say there was minor damage, but the radar component remains intact and that it's still very much operational. These types of air defense systems have absolutely enhanced Ukraine's ability to shoot down Russian weapons and protect places like the capital. Again, officials say they intercepted all the missiles, Jen, that were fired at Kyiv overnight. And, Abby, Russia claims to be targeting Ukrainian military assets ahead of Ukraine's expected counteroffensive. Are there any fresh indications on when that could begin? Certainly, this has been a long talked about counteroffensive, a push to take back territory and to do it successfully enough to put some doubt into Russian President Vladimir Putin's mind. Some Western officials say the Ukrainian military is now at what they're calling an increased state of readiness. That includes being prepared to deploy tanks, fighting vehicles, and combat engineers. It also means having the ability and being prepared to clear mines, bridging, bridging rivers, and hitting long range targets. But these officials did did warn that though Russia's military may be weakened, their defensive positions are potentially formidable. And we also know that President Zelensky was in Europe in recent days, meeting with his counterparts and securing billions in additional military aid. And he said that they needed a bit more time. But of course, he wouldn't speak about the timing of this counteroffensive, Jen, for national security reasons. Abby, thank you for the latest. Abby Kugodasin in London.